Abi Oye, won betray Oye de Paul. Abi Oye, Pastor Abi Oye, won betray Oye de Paul. Yes, let me update. Abi Oye won organize your own crusade for Abuja. Abi Oye won organize your own crusade for Abuja. He won begin to divide winners. The war does start. The war between Oye de Paul and Abi Oye just start. On the 23rd of November, Abioye won't begin to divide winners. He won't cut winners Abuja into two. He will go and Lagos, he will still do the crusade, go cut winners members into two. He won't go around all the major cities where money day. He will still come and do. Shall I tell him say, church and business? I tell him say, nobody the lawyer forever. All the loyalty um, sermon where Abioye preached all these years are fake. Fake. He just said, make me believe say he's loyal to him. He's not going to betray him. He's not going to say, this guy is this guy not loyal. That's why he's not going to start up. He organized the freedom. Ah, go. He's not going to drive him. He's not going to drive him. We the, we will be their followers. We will they will be their former followers. Cause I was a foundation mem uh, member of winners before I come out. This is a family business that I come out. We will be foundation members of owners. Once they fall down and they deceive. Or any but not say if he not quit discharge Abioye, Abioye will not agree making hand over hand over to his son David Junior. Or any but Junior. Now I I or any but so yeah, your freedom. Oh yeah. All of us say the mama go rest. He has been in the ministry for years. Make him go rest. Eh. So say, when I would know how many years, how many times the man don't try to, to resign, make him go rest. He needs to spend time with his family, his children, his grandkids. He needs to start doing uh, traveling. And then uh, fed your man there. Church and business. Now the mama will put your own business center. You want to start from Abuja, all the rich old boys, rich politicians. Rich Olosos, and I put out of the day. When they look now, nah, say you say this guy got betrayed. Because when they go say eighty percent of his members, so I put out will follow Abioye because now he be their papa all these years. They never pray. They don't come for volunteers. Who want who want who want volunteer for now? All the money where they make is Abioye. Is it not enough for you to organize the crusade? Who want volunteer for now? Who not get work? Now why not the criticize government? Because they like the way government make youths hungry. How they make youth jobless? So that any time they need to tell do that church business, they will always make themselves available. Where the people will defend Abioye? It betrays us. He betrayed Christians all over the world. He betrayed Nigerians. I did a video where he hit over 1.2 million uh, views to advocate for him. Make him set him away. Make him tell us why they discharge Abioye. Make Abioye say cry out and say no. This is injustice. Business where he followed him for built for years. For where? You can't pretend. Abioye, you can't pretend. Uh, I get that boy still my flesh and father. He remains my flesh and father. Abio, enough people stay out for one month. You want to organize to say, you see that business center they can't stay without extorting money from you. They will come in holy, holy form, holy, holy like that they near God pass. Me, me, I only pass Oyeko. I only pass Abio. I only pass Enechi. I only pass Suleiman. All of them. I only pass all of them. I get close to God, pass all of them. See the business center. Make could not go. Make could not go that crusade. Make me beat up for that crusade. If I don't see ninety daughters, I'll be calling. I will make sure say I pay those ninety daughters. Make a draw a bit of abuse. Betrayer. Abuse betrayed or yet the ball. How dare you organize crusade one month after your freedom? How dare you? No, not because they are freedom or they do not say retirement. Abioye has betrayed Oyedepo. 
Oh God, Lord, you come to speak English for me here. We ask members the verse. Redeem members the verse. Now, people don't like what they hate to say. This is betrayal. They retire you when you go stay house. Now you want to begin to organize state to state crusade. If you collect offering, if you collect offering for that crusade, I'll be all you. I will not say you be a businessman. You are spoiled when it's business. If you try out, if you collect offering from that crusade, if you ask for donations from your rich members, politicians, your old boys, rich Oloshos, contractors. When I saw this video, right, and uh, all the talk that this guy was speaking here or was saying here, um, I can't help but wonder why he thought that Bishop Abioye owes any allegiance to David Oyedipo. I wonder why anyone would think that way. From the day that Abioye resigned from Winners Chapel, he became a free agent and he was free to do whatever he pleases. That was just it. And who in their right minds would help someone build their empire and do not have a slice of the empire? Who, would that, who in their right minds would serve someone for 40 years or 35 years and that individual would build a huge empire like David Oyedipo has built without a person having a slice of the empire? I have no idea. And uh, Abioye is just launching or maybe hosting a, camp, a, a crusade. We do not know if he's doing that with the blessings of Bishop Oyedipo or not. We don't know that as of now. We do not know whether he is doing this under the umbrella of Winners Chapels. We don't know that. So a lot of things about all this is still unfolding. And we cannot have any concluded statements on issues like this until we have a clearer picture of everything. But this is what I just have to say. Um, Abioye is popular. David Oyedipo is also very popular. And they are good friends. So I think that Abioye, if wanted to start his own church, his own brand, is allowed to do so. He might cut a few slices from David Oedipo's pie or not. We don't know that yet. We don't know that. And the David Oedipo might just be like, mm, you've served me for many years. I'm happy we are friends or we were friends. And the, you've retired, so you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. That might be one scenario, isn't it? <laughs> but I just think that uh, there will be some tension in the future. That's what I just think. There will be some tension in the future. A time will come when these two besties might have to compromise on something. I believe so. And that is why I said we shouldn't jump to conclusion just yet. We shouldn't make assumptions. Rather, we should just lie low and uh, enjoy the show. <laughs> Church has always been a business. I don't know why we Africans have simply refused to acknowledge this simple fact. Church has always been a business. It is a business of the men of God to become successful. It is a business. No matter how much we avoid this, no matter how much we decide to just close our hearts and minds towards this, it doesn't 
change the truth. Church is a business. The men of God are the entrepreneurs and the Christians are the clients. And whenever you go to church and whenever you give your money to the man of God, you are buying a product that that man of God is selling. That is it. Now, the product might serve you or might not. No one knows, right? <laughs> no one knows. But the bottom line is, it is a business. That is just it. And the Bishop David Abioye has seen how much money this church business can bring about. And so he has decided to carve a slice of the pie for himself. <laughs> he has decided that this is a time I should maybe build my own legacy. I have helped David Oyedipo build his legacy. So I should do something for myself, which I totally support him. <laughs> I totally support him. My only sympathy or empathy is for all those people out there who have refused to come to terms with this. I really sympathize with them. But then again, let me hear your own take in the comment section below. Do you think that this crusade that is being held by Bishop David Abioye is the right thing to do? And the, do you think he got the blessing of Bishop David Oyedipo or not? And lastly, do you think that this is going to set in some confusion between these two long-time friends? Let us hear your opinion in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say.